Hi, welcome to PN Recapped Mystery. Today we explain the movie from 2017 called Time Trap. Beware of spoilers watch out and take care and I hope you enjoy the video. Hopper, an archaeology professor, is investigating a remote cavern framework on the path of missing hippies from the 1970s. After finding what seems to be a cowboy paused in place in a tunnel, he gets back to town and dismisses his graduate students, Taylor and Jackie, stating that their research is finished. A few days later, as Hopper has not returned, Taylor and Jackie go searching for him, with their friend Kara, who brings her sister, Veeves, and her friend Furby. They soon find their professor's abandoned vehicle, which is close to a hippie van. Attached to the hippie van is a rope leading into the entry of a hid cave close by. Taylor, Jackie, Kara, and Veeves choose to research the cavern, while Furby stays behind as reinforcement. They lower themselves into the cavern, hearing bizarre clamors. When Furby doesn't answer their radio calls, Jackie attempts to climb back out, however the rope frays, and she falls, harming herself and Taylor. Calling for help. They get a transmission from inside the cavern and follow it. As they continue on, the gathering hears a few weird murmurs coming from somewhere inside the cavern. At a certain point, they observe Furby lying on the floor, dead, probably fallen into the cavern opening from a higher place. Watching his video recordings, they observe that sadly, they are experiencing a time distortion inside the cavern, where time moves gradually slowly compared to the surface of the earth. Light blazes over the sinkhole opening, which they conjecture to be the generally quick rising and setting of the sun. Out of desperation, Kara Free climbs out of the cavern to get a GPS signal. She finds the surrounding area to be new, infertile, and rocky, with a bizarre triangular object in the sky. When she gets back to the cavern after generally 30 minutes, her colleagues insist she was just gone a second. They contrast video of their various observations to reveal the time discrepancy. Further assessment of Furby's Cameron uncovers the light blazes to not be days and evenings however whole seasons, alongside the frightening disclosure Furby endure his fall yet was assaulted by another being in the cavern. Kara plans to climb out again looking for help yet is hindered by a cutting-edge humanoid spaceman descending through a retractable stepping stool. The spaceman is assaulted by a savage who appears to show up all of a sudden. The gathering escape and slip further into the cavern to find more savages who have all the earmarks of being crude Stone Age men. They additionally find the still living, breathing people of the missing hipsters and that the unbelievable fountain of youth truly exists inside this cavern. Taylor is seriously injured by the cavemen when attempting to get the gathering to security. The spaceman shows up and places Taylor in the Fountain of Youth, recuperating him totally. The spaceman is again assaulted by the savages. The students help him, however his breathing cover is pulled off in the battle. The spaceman experiences difficulty breathing and communicates in a language the group doesn't comprehend. He demonstrates he is out of time and shows the group a progression of media cuts, from their own report for missing to a declaration of a space station called the Ark which Kara perceived as the triangular object she found in the sky. The spaceman dies and the tailor observes a backpack belonging with Professor Hopper. Taylor goes searching for him and see he is harmed before some other time expansion where his long-missing sister is frozen in time alongside an army of Spanish conqueror warriors actually having a continuous fight with the natives for the control of the fountain. The professor relates his experience of time enlargement subsequent to entering the cavern and uncovers the radicals to be his parents. The gathering places Furby in the Fountain of Youth and plan to leave the cavern utilizing the spaceman's stepping stool through the cavern opening scene before. The cavemen pull down the stepping stool before all can climb it. Kara comes to the top and is gotten through the aquatic portal by gray clawed creatures before she can help her companions, presently frozen on schedule. She returns through the portal, diversely dressed and going with rope-like mechanisms which pull her companions in addition to Furby, Hopper, and Hopper's revived family through. A short time later, Furby stirs, alongside Hopper and Hopper's family, all having been recovered and restored with the healing waters. The others show up 
cheerfully clarifying they are in a space station and have a great deal to discuss. To watch more explanations of these kinds of movies click on the videos on your screen and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.